welcome to Pyramid Fitness in the Kitchen. This is the first edition. I want to start bringing you more than just exercises. I want to start showing you how I eat, what I cook, and uh, how I keep my body going with a busy lifestyle. Today we're going to talk about the crock pot. This is it right here. Um, you can get them in any store, generally Walmart, Bed Bath Beyond, where I got mine. Um, one thing to consider when you get your crock pot is what size you want. If you've got a family, make sure that you get a larger one so you can create larger portions. I got a medium sized one for myself so I can have some leftovers after before I cook. Before cooking any meal, it's really important to prep and be ready uh, before you start your adventure in the kitchen. The first thing you want to do always, and you notice I've already done it, I am keeping a hat on and pulling my hair out of the way. You don't want hair and food ever. No one likes it. The next thing is you want to prep the kitchen and clean. I've gone through taking trash out, cleaned everything, all the services. Then you follow it up with prepping. What are you going to need? Today, we've got the crock pot already, got that covered. The next thing is a knife. We're going to be chopping some vegetables and a cutting board. Pretty simple. The other thing, paper towels, make a mess, clean it up. And the last thing for myself, when I cook, I like to snack a little bit, not just only on what I'm eating and preparing, but I personally like to keep some hummus and chips around. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to cook tri-tip in the crock pot. Tri-tip and vegetables. What we've got today, we've got tri-tip, green onions, carrots. I've got organic whole carrots. I like to chop them up myself. We've got Celery hearts, nice crunch, gives a lot of texture. We also have sweet potatoes, wonderful, slow cooking all day, nice flavor. Shallots, garlic are gonna be going on top with sweet onion. Before we put the tri-tip in, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom to help with the sticking while it cooks. And I'm gonna make sure to put the tri-tip in here and flip it around a little bit and let it get some oil on it. I always say you're not having fun in the kitchen unless there's a little blood involved. So I'm gonna cut this bag open, the tri-tips in here. Also, make sure I'm using a scissor, I'm using scissors here. If you're using scissors and you're, and you're dealing with blood, <laughs> make sure you clean the scissors. Uh, this is the part where you don't wanna be scared of blood. You're just gonna reach in, we're gonna pull the tri-tip out very easily. Super, super, super easy. Boom, right on the bottom. There you go. We've thrown in the tri-tip, we flipped it around in the oil, I left to the bathroom, washed my hands, no blood. Next we're going to start layering. The first layer of course is tri-tip, we put it in there. What I'm going to do each layer is I'm going to add spices and seasoning. So what my favorite four are garlic salt, curry powder, black pepper, can't go wrong, and cumin. So I've added my garlic salt, a curry powder, cumin. And my last thing I like to do is add a lot of pepper. Pepper is my secret in here. I'm really trying to spice this guy up. So put as much as you'd like. Sing the Star Spangled Banner while you're doing it. Keep going. Cover that sucker. All right. And then once you do that, you've got your spices and seasoning on there. If you'd like, you can turn it over and do the other side. But what I generally do is just cover one side nice and completely. When you're cooking in the crock pot, layering or the order of ingredients you put in is very important. We started with the tri-tip like we've talked about. And now how we progress up is from the hardest vegetables to the softest. So what I'm going to do first is start with carrots. What you want to do is always cut off the end. Not a lot of flavor there. That's all I really do. Before I cut, make sure you wash the carrots and wash the vegetables, okay? So we're going to be slicing. I'll show you real quickly. Pretty thin, but not paper thin, right? Because remember, it's cooking all day. It's really going to soften up. So about a quarter inch slicing through, and you want a nice layer of carrots, okay? We're on to the next layer. Sweet potatoes. We've got our carrots on there. I've washed two sweet potatoes. All I'm going to do, again, is just cut off the ends. Not that big of a deal, right? Just the end coming off. And then... You can cut these potatoes any way that you want. Um, I'll dice them up. That's one of my favorite ways. You can also do big, long 
pieces or chunks, rather slices through the sweet potato and throw it in. Any way you want, be creative, have fun, doesn't matter, it's gonna taste the same. Next we have celery. I grabbed three little guys here, and pull it right off the heart, okay? And what I'm doing is cutting off the ends. Toss them to the sides. I'm gonna slice these guys down the middle. So I'm gonna hold it, and I'm gonna run down the middle, and then I'm just gonna run through and cut decent little sizes here of the celery. That's it. Toss them in, we're on to the next thing. We are almost done. Next, the shallot. There's a root end and a top end. We're gonna cut that top end off. I'll show you a little more closely. Root, top, good. Top end comes off. Create a flat surface for yourself. You're gonna turn that up. The root, little stringy guy showing. We're gonna cut right down the middle and expose the innards of the shallot. From here, it's gonna be a lot easier to take off the outside and dice this guy up. So what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and cut that root off. And I'm gonna be left with a little bit, a little bit of skin I wanna take off here. Patience, patience. Um, there we go. We've got it off. Next, you're just gonna half it, right? And then, Go down and just give it a little dicing. Perfect. Now we're on to the yellow onion. I'm just gonna cut off very easily both ends. Make some movement happen here. Toss these guys to the side. Again, I'm not a chef. I'm not gonna be slicing as fast as I can. I'm taking my time. One thing to keep in mind, you wanna keep your fingertips so when you're cutting, I'm a little more loose when I'm on the ends of objects, but when I'm getting close and I'm dicing, I'm curling my fingertips in and under themselves so that when I'm cutting, I'm not going to get a fingertip. At the worst, I'm going to uh, scrape my skin a little bit. Okay, so we're cutting the onion. I'm going to cut it in half. This one's nice and juicy. You may cry here. My, my mamma or my grandmother back in Kentucky always said that one trick she did was always have, a, for some reason, a glass of water would help uh, with her eyes burning and crying. So maybe you get a glass of water. Try to figure out your tip, look it up, let me know. We're gonna cut this guy up. I cut it in half. I am not the best at being expedient and fast with these onions. I'm gonna pull all the skin off. Good. Sometimes I just take an extra layer so I can speed it up. And then I'm just gonna cut down and create a few slices. Turn this guy and chunks are wonderful when it comes to the crock pot. So it doesn't have to be diced, it can be nice, big, earthy chunks of onion, okay? Thank you, we're moving on. We've thrown the onion in. I always like to wash my hands because I don't wanna have onion juice on my fingertips and rub and have any more reason to cry than, than I already am. So we're gonna move on, garlic on top of the onion. I'm just gonna open this guy up, I've gotten a clove you can buy this in many different ways. And I'm just gonna wring my hands like this, try to be tough, and start getting those harder layers off on the end. I'm gonna use almost this whole thing. I'm a garlic fan, you may not be. If you don't wanna put garlic in here or any of the ingredients that I mentioned, it's not gonna bother me. You know, make your version of it. There are a lot of ways to play with garlic. One of them is to squash this guy to get that sheath or whatever off of it. So put your Flat end of the knife down, get your hand ready, and boop, give a little pop. You'll notice that very easily this outside shell comes off, okay? Once you've got that, you've got a nice raw garlic clove ready for you to chop up. So I'm going to do that to all of them. Crunch, 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 and then I'm going to dice them up. And I'm going to throw them on top of the onions. Oh, you caught me with my green onions. I'm in trouble. This is the last thing. We're almost done. Green onions are great. Wonderful flavor. The best thing about them is all you've got to do is cut off these roots a little bit and you can use the rest of them, okay? So all you're going to do is lie them down. Try to line them up so that you can do one swoop and be done. There we go. Ends are off. I'm going to throw them away real quick. Also, keep your towel handy. Kitchen towel near you. Keep it in my lap. I need to wipe my hands off. And then all I'm doing now 
is just slicing through, okay? I need to sharpen my knife. So you're gonna go through and just dice, toss into the top. We're almost nearly full. Make sure that you're not bulging over the top. You gotta have it at least level when we go to cook. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. We're almost done. The next thing we're gonna do is add our seasonings and spices again, as much as you'd like on top. Then, there are two secrets I'm gonna give you. I'm glad you waited till the end because they're definitely worth it. When you're cooking with a crock pot, if you want it to turn out perfect every time, you put a towel underneath, don't ask me why, but it works, and you cover it with aluminum foil before you put the glass lid on. This makes sure that no moisture escapes while it's cooking and everything is tender and juicy when you open it. OCD is nonsense in the kitchen. It works out quite well for you. When you're putting aluminum foil on, take your time here, place it around the edges. You're gonna grab your lid, slide it on top, press down as hard as you can, don't break the glass, make sure you got a bit of a seal. Then you're gonna work your way around, taking your time and molding the aluminum foil around the edges, OCD. For me, I'll go around two or three times. I'm not gonna show you that, because I don't wanna come off that crazy, but you're gonna come through, create a nice seal, press down. It's looking beautiful. The last thing you gotta do here, plug in your crock pot. Then, you're gonna hit your temperature setting. What I want you to do when you cook is put it on high, blue light will come on, and then you're gonna go on to your timer and set it. I normally cook from 10 a.m. till 8.30, 9 at night on high. You can definitely cook less than that. Sometimes I'll come in the middle of the day, put it on low or medium and, and lower down, but cook it on high for at least eight hours and let me know what you think. Thanks for joining Pyramid Fitness in the kitchen. If you don't like this, you're crazy. Thanks, bye.